We started the museum about five years ago with an idea of trying to share more of Newquay's heritage. Unfortunately, Newquay hasn't got the greatest reputation within Cornwall and beyond for being a place of heritage. What we try to do is work with other groups within Newquay to bring lots of these more interesting things together. We do heritage walks in and around Newquay for visiting groups, but also we like to work with, with groups like Newquay Rowing Club who have what I always term is Newquay's Crown Jewels. The Crown Jewels being the three heritage gigs that they have down there, which we always try to bring in on our guided walks. These are really, really valuable historically and they're still in use today. The Newquay being the oldest working gig in the world. Newquay Harbour is really, really important to Newquay's history because this is where Newquay really, really began. With the small harbour over in, on, the, on the left to you know, the extension of the, uh, of the harbour in the late 1830s by Thomas Trefry. What he did when building this harbour was really start building Newquay up. And we always try to in incorporate this as part of our guided walks. We also try to bring in is the importance of the gigs to Newquay's history and the importance of pilot gigs to Cornwall's history as well. Pilot gigs were first used to guide ships into harbour and also to carry goods backwards and forwards from larger ships that may not have been able to, to enter a small Cornish harbour. By the early 20th century, when the coastal trade had, had diminished, pilot gigs were, were not used for their original purpose and started to be used for, for racing. There's races recorded in the 1860s and, and far, far earlier. There was really, really good prize money. From there, pilot gig racing grew and grew and grew, and here in 1921, after the First World War, they resurrected Newquay Rowing Club, and the three pilot gigs, Newquay, Dove and Trefry, were used in gig racing then. After the Second World War in the 1950s, they were again re resurrected, and the Newquay Rowing Club was reformed and has continued through to this day. When they were sort of in a poor state in the 50s and there wasn't no money around, we were lucky that Henry Morland came along from England's Glory Matchbox Company and gave us the timber to restore them as they are. The Nuki originally was destined for India, but she never made the vessel carrying her out and she stayed in Falmouth for several years and then Nuki bought her. And now, of course, with the Peters family built the Trefry and in their opinion, she was the best seakeeping boat, and every gig now built is built off of Trefry. And that's what you see here today. As a museum, I think it's really, really important that we work with different groups within the community to share our heritage. So it might be a social group, it might be schools, colleges, and also other organisations. And this is really, really important to get the message across about Newquay's heritage and actually promote Newquay as a really interesting and beautiful place to visit.